so I'm like 99% sure I'm in focus. Millie Bridal reached out to me again after the success of the homecoming video that I did to do a prom dress video. So this video is sponsored by Millie Bridal. It's all about prom dresses. As stated in my homecoming video for them, I did like the distinction between homecoming versus prom as short dress versus long dress. So almost all of these dresses that are in this prom video are long. Um, and I did do kind of like categories. The dresses, when I picked them, I picked them based on the image that I saw, but Millie Bridal has like motion videos that I'm going to be showing of what the dresses look like on and how they move. The first dress that I thought looked really nice for prom, I picked these a lot based on movement as well. I didn't want them to be tight all the way down because you should be able to dance at prom. That's the point of a prom, to dance. But, so this one is called New, Newest Trumpet Slash Mermaid Off the Shoulder Tool Floor Length Athlete Lace Prom Dress. Um, I thought it was really beautiful. I think it will really frame the waist of whoever wears it. I think that the mermaid style adds a good motion, a good ease of movement. <laughs> um, and I think that the way it hits the floor it'll be really easy to wear heels or flats depending on your height and what you're comfortable with um and i just think that it's really pretty in the picture it's red and i thought red was really beautiful and a good way to impress at prom you know you don't need to be neon and patterny very much because you're you're done with school it's the end of the year the second dress that I picked is titled A-Line V-Neck Satin Ankle Length Ruched Pom Prom Dress. Uh, the picture is black and I, I just thought it was beautiful. It's similar to the dress that I wore for prom where I had like a coat tail and then the dress itself wasn't floor length. Um, I think that it offers a good use for dancing because you're not worried about your butt showing in the back and you can dress it up or dress it down because it has like a simple hemline and simple colors but like depending on your jewelry and your makeup and your hair I think that it can be really dressed up and I think it offers a lot with the shoes because if you wear a longer sh dress you don't get to see the shoe as much so you can really wear a statement shoe with this dress. The third dress that I picked is the A-Line Halter Satin Sweep Train Ruffle Prom Dress. It looks like it's two pieces, but it's just a different colored top and bottom. I'm like falling off my bed. Uh, I thought that it looked very elegant, very like I'm going out to a premiere or to a gala and I just happen to hit prom before I go. Um, I think it's very beautiful and it will make you seem grown up compared to going to a high school dance if that makes sense. Um, prom is a time to be more mature and I think that this dress really aids to that. The fourth dress that I picked is called the sheath slash column v-neck sequence silk light satin ankle length split front prom dress. I this this dress screams Serena Vanderwoodson to me. I think it's something that she would wear in probably a beige or like a light blue or yellow. Um, I think that the slit gives you like a sexy vibe and a mature vibe because it's not hoochie mama. <laughs> I don't know really what I was going for with that. but And then I like the deep collar and the sequins. I'm not much for sequins and glitter, but I think this is just enough that it looks really beautiful instead of like a costume. The fifth dress that I picked out is titled the Trumpet Slash Mermaid V-Neck Lace Sweep Train Lace Prom Dress. Um, once again, I thought that this would be really good for dancing because it has the open bottom so you are able to move your legs. Um, not open bottom so much as a loose bottom. I think that's more of a proper term. Um, I think that it's very flattering, especially with a lower back that it has, and I think it'll hug your curves very, very well. 
The sixth dress that I picked out is titled A Line Scoop A Line Scoop Neck Lace Chiffon Sweep Train Split Front Prom Dress. I thought that this dress was absolutely stunning. I think that if you were to go with this dress, you could get more uses out of it than simply for prom. You could, if you join a sorority, wear it to fancy sorority events, um, any holiday parties that you'll have in the future for organizations or work or what have you. I think that you could really use this dress. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I thought that the skirt was wide enough and concealing enough that the slit is subtle so it doesn't beg for attention and that when your leg peeks out it'll be very very classy. That's what, that's what this dress is to me, very classy. The seventh dress that I picked out is titled, well, it's burgundy in the picture, burgundy a-line scoop neck chiffon with beading floor length prom dress. You could rock some great stilettos with this dress because it definitely is made to reach the floor and to glide and to emphasize your movement so it doesn't look like you're walking whereas like you're flying, you're gliding sort of thing. I think that, I think that would just look phenomenal especially on a dance floor. And then like previously mentioned in the other dresses, it's got enough glitter that it, it's beautiful and it doesn't have so much that it looks like a costume. I think the way that the lights would bounce off of this would just really draw attention to you in a good way. The eighth dress that I picked out is titled A-Line Scoop Neck Chiffon Sweep Train Uplique Lace Prom Dress. I, I went with a lot of dresses with slits for this video and I think it's because I find them to be classy and a way to show off your good legs like you have legs you rock those legs you know so I think that that's why all of almost all of these dresses have slits um I think that the skirt and where it lands on you up here will make you look taller it will emphasize your natural waist make you look teenier the deep V will also add to that and the high collar I think this dress would be absolutely beautiful this ninth dress that I picked out kind of reminds me of like like a spy undercover this is the elegant classy but also super badass look it's titled trumpet slash mermaid v-neck silk light satin floor length prom dress i just think it's very beautiful i think it hugs the body just right but it still has range of motion with a lot of these mermaid dresses that i'm picking out i think that in black, the way you do your makeup, your hair, your jewelry will really stand out compared to a dress that's a bright color. The tenth dress that I picked out is a lot, it's very different from any of the other dresses that I picked out based on the silhouette and the material and the way it lays on the body, I think. And I think that difference is what drew me to the dress originally. It's titled the a-line v-neck chiffon ruffles floor length backless casual prom dress and I think it looks soft it looks inviting I think that the way it hugs um, the bosom <laughs> is very flattering the way that the bust of the dress frames your bust and like the way it wraps around your body is very flattering it'll make you appear taller thinner at the waist, um, give you more of an hourglass figure, I would say, and I think it's just very beautiful. It looks very flowy and like it would be fun to dance in. Huge thank you to Millie Bridal for sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you want more sponsored videos or if you like videos like this, please let me know down below. I won't do more until other people reach out for me to do videos, but it is fun getting in touch with brands out there. Subscribe, don't forget to give a thumbs up and ring that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!